my son Clifton uh, disappeared from Florida in 1983. Uh, he was 16 years old. He was an emotionally handicapped child and so he was in special ed classes at high school. Um, I had been in and out of psychiatric care. Um, this particular night we allowed him to go out with some friends and told him to be home at 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock came and he did not show up and so my husband went riding looking for him uh, with no success. So um, sometime during the night came in through his bedroom window and left with uh, an athletic bag, a bathing suit, a pair of shorts, and a shirt. That's all we could find missing. And I will always believe that somebody that he met up with that night said, let's go to the beach. And he was of the mindset that that would have been very appealing to him. We don't live but 30, 40 minutes from the beach. and So I think that's probably what happened in my heart of hearts. That's what I believe. Um, of course, law enforcement listed him as a runaway, and technically he did leave on his own accord. But I'll never believe that he intended to stay gone. And um, much searching and um, looking for him privately as well as through law enforcement, which were less than helpful. Um, he's been gone 25 years with no sign, no word, nothing. And the hard part for me right now is um, I don't have anybody to blame, but um, I have a strong faith, so I, that gets me through. But I would like somebody to forgive.